mid-spring is upon us. We are past last frost, and so it feels like it's a good time to start planting in earnest in these six raised beds in uh, my mom's yard. I talked about this this winter. This is when we initially set them up. Five dollars a box for materials. All the details are in that video if you wanted to check it out. And one of the beds is pretty much fully populated. I'd like to talk about that first and how we're managing it at this time of year and some thoughts on what happens with the rest of the space. I probably could have done well to get a video shot before I mulched, but basically I used the a battery powered electric mower to do a really thorough mowing of this little patch of lawn. This is an area that's kind of nice to keep open for events. We just have a little bit of space, but also a really great, easy, high nutrient mulch source. And so I use this modified bag that we invested in for the mower, and it collects a pretty stupefying amount of clippings per bag. And you can see in this bed where we put in Good King Henry. So it's a perennial spinach. There's a perennial celery, Korean celery there. More Good King Henry and then perennial arugula along with some annuals in the middle. You can see the kales throughout. They've been doing really nicely. They haven't been watered. I think the logs deep down in the bed, all the moisture that is in the logs from the winter is releasing to the plants. But by putting a nice mulch around everybody, we shouldn't have to water in here. In fact, I don't plan on watering these beds once we've established plants in them. If we can get the plants in, water them once really thoroughly with rainwater and then mulch the heck out of it with clippings, I think these beds will be fine for the most part for the rest of the season. In a little bit, my mom and I are gonna to go to an Amish market where they've got starts and pick out stuff to fill these beds. We've just been leaving whatever has shown up to grow, but I'll harvest all of these. These are wild mustards. I can see the roots went down nice and deep. The soil down there really nice and moist. Again, zero watering. We haven't really had a rainy spring, um, but I'm not gonna pull these. In general, we don't pull weeds until we're ready to facilitate what's going on in the bed. So consider that a brief demonstration only. But if I go in there a little, soil seems really nice, really moist, and ready to be planted. Lots of mulch readily available to cover around the plants. So we'll pick out some nice starts. We'll figure out the layout of each of these beds, settle in each start with a very deep initial watering to plume water down into the logs and debris below and mulch the heck out of them and should be up and running. This bed will clear, we'll put some, I think she wanted pole beans to grow up the bamboo. So we'll push some uh, bean seeds in for that. And probably this far one, which gets the most light, will be for tomatoes on the north end and maybe peppers, basil on the south end. We'll go get some starts and seeds and see how it all fills out in a little bit. My mom and I paid a visit to a local Amish uh, place just north of where she lives and got a whole bunch of annual starts. Really inexpensive, simple, quick way to get things going. It's a little bit more expensive than doing it by seed, but it's kind of a nice way to get things happening right out of the gate. We've got our lawn clippings from the electric mower set up to mulch, and then we've got compost from the chicken yard that is soaking in water, and each potted plant will get dipped in there these tomatoes, four pack of tomatoes. We dip them in so it's a compost tea. You can see all the bubbles coming out. Just hold it for a moment or two until they stop bubbling. And that lets me know that these cells have been fully hydrated and also have some fresh compost tea added. It's pretty amazing how easy the soil is to work. I brought a hoary and a little rake out, but I realize, especially for transplanting in, it's just a matter of moving all the leaf litter aside. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Here is a tomato. They're pretty amenable to having their stems buried, especially if they're longer like that. So we'll go a little bit deeper, get them a little bit further down into the rich soil, get the mulch back around, and give them some of that chunky compost juice, really informal, fast compost tea age compost and rainwater and then we don't really sift so a lot of wood chips are in there they'll remain on the surface as our mulch but why not go an extra step and take this green manure and around every plant that goes in once they're soaked thoroughly 
and they've got the leaf litter back around them. We'll give them a green manure, maybe soak that once more just to leach some excess nutrient down and in. So we can start putting plugs throughout this whole bed. Leaning towards the idea for this northernmost bed, so that way's north, to think about a zinnia here. Maybe there'll be an asturtium or some other flowers that can present on the side that my mom looks out at, but that'll be encouraged to grow out this way. There'll be a couple different varieties of tomatoes right along the north end of this bed, and we'll hammer in staves and run rope later on to support them with the trellis. Then there'll be sweet peppers and maybe another herb or two in the middle, and then probably the south side will be scratched up and sown to carrots or some other lower crop, uh, height-wise, not value-wise, and that should be that bed. I don't know who you are. Hey, it's a label. <laughs> you can see it? I can see your hand lifting that, stuffing it in. Okay, nice. Narration by mom. Oh, am I on? Oh, yeah. You want me to sing? No, no. Parsley song? No, no, thank you. Time song? There you go. Time jam. Time jam. We finished planting for today. A couple little starts that remain to go in and now things are gonna be at a good rest for the next few days. I'll be back here in two days. I can check on things then. I left a little container of water as a reserve in case something looks droopy. And there's piles of compost from our chicken yard that we can side dress plants the next time we water in order to wash in more nutrients around them. My mom went through and put grass clippings around all of the transplants. So we've got some parsleys on the side. There's marjoram and different herbs, sweet peppers in the middle, tomatoes on the north. This is gonna be sown to carrots, this whole space in there. A couple more flowers on the far side. She put in some climbing beans that she wanted next to the bamboo. Then there's some cauliflower and we'll just try to see if eggplant works. A couple of zucchini on the sides to splash out you get the idea, just basically added lots and lots of things. Wherever there's grass clippings, it's now pretty thoroughly planted out, which means there's room for more things to happen. That bed hasn't even been touched. So yeah, kind of worked out in a nice way. We'll do some updates as we see how this all unfolds when the carrots come up and the plants start to grow, maybe once we trellis the tomatoes. Let me know if you have any questions, thanks.